Let's go to Psalm 1 and 1. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. Give me a second, please. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor sitteth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. So what is it saying? It is a blessing to not be around sinful people for entertainment purposes or to go to them for advice and stuff like that. Now, of course, you have to be around sinful people to minister to them, things of God, of course. But when it comes down to your personal life for entertainment purposes and stuff like that, you don't have to be around sinners. Because look at this. You are either going to influence them or they are going to influence you. <laughs> you are either going to influence them or they are going to influence you. So if you are not influencing them, in some way they are influencing you. Think about that. The same spirits, the same demons that they have in them, they can spread to you. The same demons that are in control of their home and their atmosphere and stuff like that, they can follow you home. Think about that. Well, you know, that's my cousin, or that's my uncle, or that's my aunt, you know. I can't separate from them. Okay, let's say that you all die, and you go to heaven, and they go to hell. Are you going to come up to God and say, hey God, I am very close to them. I cannot separate from them, so you have to take me to hell too. <laughs> <laughs> are you going <laughs> are you going to say that I don't think so I don't think so <laughs> so if you have to separate from them in the next world you should separate from them in this world because that is dangerous to be around people for entertainment purposes when they are willfully sinning. Think about that. It is one thing if you are coming over their home and reading the Bible and praying for them and putting blessed oil all over their home and stuff like that. That is different. But if you are coming there just to chill out and stuff like that and have fun and everything like that, you have to watch yourself because really soon you are going to speak like the way they speak you are going to start acting the same way that they act so on and so on I'm telling you I am telling you this is the reason why this is saying blessed is the man that walketh not in a council of the ungodly it is a blessing why is the Bible saying this Sometimes we put more temptation on ourselves. It is not because living a Christian life is so hard. Sometimes we put more pressure on ourselves because we do foolish things. This is saying it is a blessing to not be around sinners. When you go around sinners to minister, you have to understand that, look, we are in a spiritual war. So when you go around sinners and stuff like that, you have to know that it is a war. But you, you kind of know that it is a war, but at the same time, it's like you put it in the back of your mind which is not good which is not good
Sometimes you wonder why certain things are coming to your mind or you wonder why you are saying certain words. Who are you hanging around with? What are you listening to? <laughs> it is really simple. Stop hanging around sinners. There are other people who don't sin. Why not make friends with them? You don't have to make friends I am not saying that you can't have any friends. There are other people out there who serve God. Why not make friends with them? Not these false Christians and stuff like that, but people who really serve God. Why not make friends with them? Why do you have to go in the bottom of the trash to find something that you may like? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you going through the trash can? Go somewhere else. Think about that. So really take heed to this. God bless.